welcome back to the channel. In the last video, which was just filmed a few seconds ago, we just did an uh, inspection on the yellow hive, but I figured, hey, I've got some battery time left and some memory stick left, so let's see if we can't get through the green hive really quick. And if they're in good shape, I may give them that box that I just took from the yellow hive. Let's have a look. It's currently 98 degrees inside this hive. And the fan is running. I don't have it on full speed. I just have it venting a little bit. We can certainly turn it up. If you're not familiar with the fans and how they operate, here's what they look like. Hi, girls. We have a lot of girls on the bottom of this box enjoying the fans. All right. Holy moly. Okay, this box, that box is about ready to harvest. All right. These girls are bringing the goods. That last box, it's about ready to go. Let's see what we have in here, ladies. Okay. Okay, what we have up here apparently is a queen. I have worker brood in this hive, which tells me that my queen went on a mating flight and came back in through the top entrance. Oh, that's the second frame of brood. The green Ow. hive Damn triggers it. the stingometer. There's one for the stingometer, son of a gun. Ouch. Got my thumb. Ow, man, right in the cuticle. Ow, son of a gun. That hurt. Now why would you do that? Why would you do that, young lady? Holy moly. Okay. So this box, if I can... Holy moly. I think I'm going to have to go through that other box because we, we have a queen. In here. Yes, we do. Makes me wonder what's going on down on the bottom. There's a full frame of honey. No. Well, on that side. Okay, we are moving this box aside. For a moment. We're going through this box. Okay, we have some brood in here. We have some brood. Not drone brood, so we know that we don't have a laying, laying worker. It's definitely worker brood. Oh, but we have a lot of it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box off. 
and go down another. We'll decide what it is we're going to do. I may try something that I've heard if I can't find this queen, and that is remove the queen excluder, and the queen should automatically go back down to the bottom. I'm hoping. And the bees that are in the top, the eggs should hatch. And when that happens, they'll go to the bottom, then they'll start storing honey in the top. Because there's a lot of beekeepers out there who actually beekeep without a queen excluder. I guess they, they create what's called a honey bridge. I think that may be my solution for this hive. Because I've got brood everywhere. So let's have a look and see what we have here. This is below the queen excluder. I may not have, I may have honey down here. I may just have to move some boxes around. Okay, I don't want to get stung again, ladies. Okay, we are filling with honey and capping. Filling with honey and capping. I don't see any brood in here. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, I have brood in here. Okay. But that's a little older. That may be from an old queen. I think what happened is a queen must have swarmed out of here. The virgin must have taken off and returned through the upper entrance. That's all I can figure. So I didn't see a queen. Okay. We have honey and brood. The brood is hatching. I don't see any fresh eggs. I think that's what's going on. I don't think, I think the queen, yeah, this is just an empty frame. They're starting to store nectar and pollen. Do not see a queen. Okay, this is a full frame of brood. Another full frame of brood. What in the world does this mean? Oh, and I see eggs. I see eggs. That means we have a queen in this bottom too. We have two queens in this hive. We have one above the queen excluder and one below. Okay, that is interesting. How does that work? Alright, we're going to take you off and have a look. Going below. Alright. Not see my queen in there. I don't know where she is in this hive. So we have a whole situation happening here. I have evidence of a queen, both above and below the queen excluder. I have eggs, both above and below the queen excluder. And the bees I have, come on, let me in there. Don't sting me. And the, the cells are all worker cells. It's not, it's not popcorn. It's not the, uh, it's not drone brood. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Let's, uh, let's put this back together. Just the way we found it. Mm. 
who wants to come up with a solution. I don't want to smash anybody. Anybody who got smashed, I'm sorry. I tried to warn you. The green hive triggers the stingometer. That's two. Didn't mean to smash your buddies. Ouch. My right hand is getting lit up today. One in the thumb. Ow. Come on, bees. One on the top of the hand. Help me help you. Help me help you. I'm putting you back together. Relax. Help me help you. Let me turn the fans back on. All right, so I'll let you see how these fans work. Right now, inside of the hive, we don't know what it is, to be honest with you, because this box has been laying on the ground outside, so it's the outside temperature. but it says that it's 86.3. I've got the fans set to come on at 95 degrees, but we're gonna go ahead and set these fans to come on at 80 degrees. Okay, so the minute I hit go, it's gonna cool the hive until they get to 80 degrees. And that's how they work. The bees like it, they exhaust. We've got some holes here in the side that actually exhaust out the heat. And it uh, does wonders to keep the, uh, keep the box cool. Again, I usually have it set so that they come on at 90 degrees. It's my understanding the bees like it warm, but we just don't want them to like it that warm. We don't want it to get over 100. All right, well, there you go. So this hive here, we've got some work to do. Don't know exactly what's going on, but apparently I have two queens in this box. Um, I thought maybe, wait a second, it might be a laying worker, but it's not. It's it's worker brood in both the top and the bottom side of the queen excluder. Now, I thought at first that we may have had a virgin queen that left the bottom after the original queen swarmed because I can't find her. And then maybe the virgin queen flew in the top and started laying up here. The only problem is I have eggs in both sides of the box, so I don't know what's going on. So we're going to have to dig in deeper on a cooler day. It's, it's like too hot out here. I'm sweating. So, with that said, I hope you liked the video. Do me a favor, uh, hit the like button below if you did. If you didn't, you don't have to hit the like button, but leave me a comment either way. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified of my uh, latest content. This bee wants to get me. I've already been got twice today. Once on the cuticle, once on the top of the hand. This bee wants to make it number three. Anyways, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, and I will uh, see you later. Have a great day, and be happy. This guy needs to be happy. Not very happy. The two that stung me weren't very happy either. My hand isn't very happy, but I'm happy. I'll see you next time. This week, the green hive adds two to the board. The season total stands at 27.